Now this is a uh, model of a small whistle here that I designed in uh, on shape. You can design this in inventor, you can design in, in SolidWorks, you can design it in any 3D software that you're familiar with. Basically all the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, send this over to the uh, there it is right there. I'm gonna send this over to the 3D printer here. It's just a small whistle there. And uh, see what it looks like after it come off of the printer. This is done in a program called uh, GrabCAD. That's the only one that runs the large printer here to my right over here. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to export this file down to the uh, platform here and then upload it to the other software and see how it works. I'm going to export this program down to the GrabCAD software and then uh, send it over to my F-170 F-170 printer here. So let me do that. I'm going to highlight this entire it should download it in, as, a, as an STL file automatically. There's no conversion. So I'm highlighting that. Come over here. I'm going to uh, right click and go down to what says export here. I'm going to keep it as, I'm going to just name it as, as whistle. Click export down here. Okay. Then I'm going to check my download folder. There's my whistle there. I check my download folder and you should see it. You can see it from here. Well, that there is at the top there. <coughs> then I'm going to open up my uh, GrabCAD software here, and then I'm going to import that. I'm going to add a project here and see. Find the miles here. This would be a new project, I imagine. It's going to ask me where is my file, so I'm going to go find my file here. No, 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 I'm going to add a model here, yeah. I'm going to add a model, so that model is in my down, download folder. So there's the, my whistle there, and I'm going to open that up there. And it should appear down there, I see it, it says model check, model detected or whatever. You can't see this stuff so miniature. I downloaded the file from, from my software. And you can see it. I'm in the GrabCAD uh, software now. This is this is as close as I can get with this camera. So, so I'm going to change. I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, change the uh, scale here, so you can see it. There it is right there. Over here it says X, X, and Y. So I'm going to have uniform uh, in, enlargement here. Uh, I'm going to put maybe a thousand. How large is that going to be? Into that. Hmm. So that's not that. That's a real tiny uh, object here. This area, this item here, gauges the height of the model or project as you change the scale on it. So, you see, I wanted the X and Y and Z to move at the same ratio as the height. And I wanted to orientate it. All these controls over here uh, changes the uh, object here. 
you can orientate it x, y. You can lay it down flat, back up, x, uh, that's the x orientation, the y orientation. I like that orientation right there, it, it, uh, uh, because that's the way you can see it uh, takes up less, we use the same amount of model material, but you can just add it. Uh, surface area is it could be it can print it well but better so and you can copy this since this uh, that's t that's real small this area here you can look in the uh, machine there and see this 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 space right here that looks by maybe an inch uh, too so you can scale this thing up a little larger if you like okay highlight it here so, so the machine I got it 1,000 and made it 1,500. Let me see there. Enter that. And you can look at the the great the graded spaces on your board here. And you can see and look in the front here. You can't see that. Let me put this here. You can see this is the board there that's in the uh, printer. Those rectangular holes that give an idea of how large the uh, item it is to be printed. You can see that this board has been used. Try to use all the space, all the, all the area here on the board here. So that whistle is fitting in between one of these see the small with these real small holes there so this whistle is fitting right in between this whistle is fitting right in between that that's about as large as I really want it to be I'm, I'm going to print this I'm going to print this whistle at that size right there compared to the uh, size that would fit on the board. Next step would be to print this item since it's tied into the uh, printer already. So on the right corner down here you see the word print, you go print and it says preparing to print, please wait up here at the top. So it's preparing the, soft, the item to be printed there it says preparing to print. You can already read that there. And then I got a little green indicator saying that uh, item was queued into the uh, printer. So I'm going to check the printer and see. It says whistle. It's a item has been transferred to the printer so I'm just going to hit print right here and there is the whistle that tells it shows you uh, where it is on the uh, print board so oh well I got to put the, I got to put the board back <laughs> hey it won't print so I got I got to put this back in the machine got to put this back in the machine here So I put the base plate back in the machine. All right, still set. Okay, the machine is ready. It has to warm up. The machine is ready. It has to warm up. I want to hit print one more. I'm going to hit print.
it tells you how, uh, what material it's using, how long it's going to take in the controls over here. It says prepare in 51 minutes, so the machine has not been on today, the printer has not been on today, so when it times out, it will be ready to print. Well, it's getting, it's just heating up now, and uh, that, that's a good sign. You see the table is, is, is rising up here. You see the table is rising, the, the heads are getting warmed up. When all this is done, the printer will start printing the uh, object that we transferred over here. So that's, all, that's how you do it. You three three methods, three uh, three steps. Design it in the software, download it, and then upload it to the printer. No matter what software you use. Thank you for watching.